Get ready for an exciting dose of math. Find the value of this square root without using a calculator. At first, you will look at this square root of 49 and you will think, huh, this is easy. The square root of 49 is 7. But then you will look at this square root of 48 and your brain might say, wait, how am I supposed to find its square root? But don't worry. Let's solve it step by step. First, we deal with the inner part, which is the square root of 49 minus square root of 48. We already know that the square root of 49 is 7. Now let's break that 7 down in a clever way. Let's write 7 as 4 plus 3. 4 is 2 squared. And well, 3 is just square root of 3 whole squared. So that makes it 2 squared plus square root of 3 squared. Noise. Next, let's look at the square root of 48. That's not a perfect square, but it can be broken down. 48 is 16 times 3, and 16 is 4 times 4. So now, the square root of 48 becomes the square root of 4 times 4 times 3. Now we can write it as square root of 4 times square root of 4 times square root of 3. Write both these square roots of 4 as 2, and keep this square root of 3 as it is. Therefore, using this and this, the square root of 49 minus the square root of 48 can be written as 2 squared plus square root of 3 squared minus 2 times 2 times square root of 3. Oh, can you notice something? Yeah, this is of the form a squared plus b squared minus 2, ab, which is none other than a minus b whole square. So this will become the 2 minus square root of 3 whole square. Now if we take square root on both sides, this will become our original expression, and this square will be cancelled with this square root, and it will become simply 2 minus square root of 3, and that's it. We know that the square root of 3 is 1.732 and thus this will become 0.268. So, goo!